to no chance of that. Scenario number two is paralleling the coast as we go into the weekend, and it looks like it's going offshore, but then it gets captured and pulled back to the New England coast. That would bring rain and wind to us later Monday into Tuesday, but the blunt would be off to the north and east, and the coastal flooding wouldn't be bad because that would be more to New England. We get more of a wind out of the north uh, northwest. Here's the worst case scenario, a storm that comes near or just to the south of the tri-state area. A lot of rain and wind even starts as early as Sunday night, the worst thing on Monday. A big storm surge in south coast of Long Island, uh, New York Harbor, Jersey Shore, West Middle, Long Island Sound. Major flooding both coastal and inland, and then widespread damage. It's either scenario two or three, somewhere in between. I think there is going to be a strike along the northeast coast, but I just don't know where the storm's getting captured. So this whole I-95 corridor is still in play at this point. So you have to start thinking about what you might do to prepare and then maybe pull the trigger as we go through Friday or so. Just watching this computer forecast, this is the latest stuff that's come in. There's a little jog to the east with the storm. So we're going to go through this little flip-flops with the models here and try to dissect.